Yep, it's that time of the year. Look at the blossom. Absolutely lovely. And down the bottom of this gully here, if I can zoom in, hopefully I can see it on camera. There's a pair of cocks in the top of this gully. In there. There's one of them there. There's one. Yeah, that's the pair of cocks. Further down the valley, over there somewhere, I can pick it out. There they are, there's a big mob of cocks and hens. There you go. So, mating hasn't started yet, and nesting hasn't started yet. In this particular farm, um, lambing's still happening, so we're uh, staying out of the way of the lambing at the moment, so that we don't separate any uh, mums from their lambs. But as soon as lambing's over and done with, these guys are on the target list again. Some of you might be wondering why I'm wearing a scarf over my face. It's not that I'm trying to disguise my identity. It's, it's not that I believe that peacocks uh, facially recognise. Uh, we uh, have COVID loose in the country at the moment, but that's got nothing to do with it either. Uh, the uh, whole objective here is to, as any duck hunter will tell you, uh, Take away the the shine given by a person's face, because I'm absolutely certain that um, peacocks can uh, recognise that, and it also takes away a little bit the head and shoulders profile of a human. Uh, so anything that will give you a second or two of extra time to uh, organise um, a correct shot placement will mean that you actually manage to nail one rather than have them get away on you. But anyway, we'll um, head down here in a minute, have a look see about with the binoculars first and see if we can't get another one or two or more. Now we're going to focus on cocks today. Well, I've been fo focusing on cocks um, the whole time I've been here. Um, shooting hens effectively eliminates next year's hunting because if you shoot a hen this time of the year, they're not able to breed, which means there'll be less birds next year. Um, so we're going to focus on cocks and we'll see how we go. Um, we will be able to have a look at the hens. The hens are currently, I'd describe them as being fat and happy. They're out in the paddocks and they're feeding flat out to um, improve their condition. Um, the immature birds are riding station on them. I suspect that that's because they think they might get lucky. The mature cocks, the ones with the, the with the fantastic tails, the big tails, they're much more alert and they tend to be further back and in uh, positions where they can keep a good look out. And I suspect that the, the hens will actually choose their partners um, based on the condition of their tails. So I think that when the hens are ready to mate, the hens will go looking for a suitable cock. Um, and then once the mating has been completed, the hens will then effectively disappear because they go looking for a spot where they can um, uh, lay their eggs and nest up and incubate them. Anyway, we'll uh, keep an eye on what's going on and see how we go today.
know your stalking abilities are pretty good when you're able to sneak up on cock pheasants, complete with their little uh, entourage of hens. Well, here's a typical quandary you find yourself in when you're hunting for peacocks. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. Down there, we've got two paradise ducks. And I'll just zoom in on them. Here they are. And they're in an ideal position to spot me. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cross over here and get behind these totras that are just over here and head up round into the next gully if we're really, really lucky you'll hear some peacocks call the problem I've got is no matter what I do here these paradise ducks will um, issue a warning call and then really spoil it for me. Just round that corner, a big mob of hens. One cockbird riding station, but uh, he didn't make himself available for a shot. It's early October, the end of the first week of October, and uh, I've just fired a shot. Unfortunately he's dropped out of sight so I don't know whether or not he's a solid hit or not. He looked like he was, sounded like he was. And I'm just taking my time at the moment because there's more peacocks in this gully. Anyway, he's over there where he was. Just in the foreground before those trees. There's a little saddle there and then there's a little bit of dead ground just before the bottom of that strip of totras. So he's dropped out of sight. Anyway, we'll give it a minute or two for everything to settle down again. And then we'll very, very carefully look over the, look over the edge just right in front of us. Just literally right down over here. So I've had the little devil sit and wait. Well, it's two for the afternoon. Um, it's not the best I've done. The best I've done seven. And of those seven, I only managed to recover six. But anyway, they're beautiful looking birds. And uh, yeah, we've got them all strapped up good to go so that we can climb up out of here and we've got to head all the way up here uphill the way home is uphill why does it always seem to be the way home is uphill